Welcome in Hardwood fans. I'm your online host, Blake Baker, breaking down some more TBC basketball in the studio. And I'm here with Catherine Morey, Vinton County reporter. And she was out tonight to see the Lady Vikings take down River Valley 55 to 42. Now this was a pretty low scoring game, especially in that first quarter where we saw Vinton County go up 15 to six. What was the reason behind that? If I had to give a reason, I would say that it had to do something with the defense from both teams. To start off the game, both teams had a very strong defense. Multiple players would gang up on whoever was in control of the ball as it was traveling down the court. When a player went to shoot, you'd see a bunch of hands pop into the air in order to block the shot. Vinton County did especially well with a lot of man-to-man -man coverage in the beginning, which allowed them to keep pressure on the Raiders. However, this changed later in the game where both teams relaxed on their defense, which led to easy games for both teams. So defense played a big part in this game. What about the offense? Offense also relaxed for both teams as the game went on. At the end of the night, River Valley had 33 turnovers while Vinton County had 20. At the same time, the Raiders allowed the Vikings to have 22 steals. What happened were the passes weren't connecting with the intended receiver and being snagged out of the air by the opposite team. However, when the, when the team had a free play after a turnover, they missed a lot of shots. So at the end of that third quarter, Vinton County was nearly double River Valley's score. How did they lose that lead and come out with a narrower win? Well, Blake, you have to keep in mind that coming off the third quarter, the score was 46 to 24, and the Vikings should have had an easy win over the Raiders. However, in the fourth quarter, Ruby River Valley really dug deep and turned on their game, giving the Vikings a run for their money. During this quarter, Vinton County got sloppy, and either the players just got tired after playing such a strong first half and third quarter, or something else entirely. But no matter what, they didn't take their time to line up the shots, and it cost them. The Vikings just weren't playing at the same level they were for the rest of the game, and this is what allowed River Valley to catch up and make a more narrow win for Vinton County. We'll be interested to see how Vinton County bounces back after a rough fourth quarter. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Mm -hmm. But our coverage doesn't stop here. Check us out on the web, woub.org slash heroes, and get all your content for TVC basketball. And check us out on social media. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Snapchat, and get all the behind the scenes action. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For Catherine Mori, I'm Blake Baker reminding you to be heroic.